So it's possible that you have been keeping your broilers for a while and only a few of them are reaching the weight that you want. The rest of them are just small, you know? You're just not getting good weight from all of them and you're like, this growth is not uniform. I tell you, I've been there. I've been there and many times when we think this is the cause, we may actually be looking in the wrong direction. This may be the cause. So I have about 9 to 10 causes of uneven growth in broiler farming and I'm sure that by the time you are done watching this video, you will find the cause of that uneven growth on your farm and you'll be able to what? Fix it. So welcome back to DIY Agric, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So for those of you who have been anticipating the broiler brooding management series, you know I promise to be showing you how to brood chicks from deho to maturity. For those of you who have been anticipating, I bring you a great news that we are going to be starting in a matter of two days. As a matter of fact, the feed to start with is ready. I've also installed a solar lamp in the brooding house so we have light all round so that the chicks can have access to feed throughout the day in the morning afternoon and night they are just eating at least for the first few weeks as i always encourage so that is one addition that i brought to you today and now let's go back to what we want to talk about which is broiler uniformity this is very key because it impacts the farmer's profit significantly yes significantly it's possible that you have 100 birds and just 50 percent of them are reaching the weight that you want and you have the rest of them having just uneven growth you don't just like what they are giving you some of them are way below the target and the very bad thing about this is that if you end up selling the 50 percent that have reached target weight you may end up spending the money you gain from that on the remaining flock which means you are just losing a lot of money at the end of the day so let's quickly get right into it what are the causes of uneven growth in broiler farming so if you think you have faced similar problem of uneven growth within your broiler flock in the past or even presently if you think you are facing that challenge go to the comment section and type broiler uniformity you know let me hear from you it's a feedback from the house let me hear from you and let's continue so the first thing on the list is that it starts with brooding it begins with brooding uneven growth is not something that you just start to attack when your beds are already reaching three weeks four weeks five weeks no you have to ensure that you do everything possible to keep the growth uniform from the brooding stage so these things begin with brooding if you are not able to maximize the broiler growth potential of all the birds from the beginning you may have you may be having problem later in the rearing season you may be having a problem and um, there are a couple of things that you actually need to do from the brooding stage to ensure that you get uniform weight which i'll be talking about as we proceed so the next thing i'll be talking about here is lighting lighting affects uniformity if you don't know lighting affects uniformity just, just like i mentioned earlier that i installed uh, the solar lamp in the brooding house if the solar lamp is only installed in one corner of the house and some chicks have access to light during the night others do not have access to light that means those that have access to light will be heating and be growing whereas those that don't have access to light will have to wait till the morning so if this light is not spread across the brooding house it will impact their growth it is bad so you have to ensure that the light you are providing is uh, well circulated within the house within the house. and another thing is cold due to poor bedding or litter one thing you want to ensure is that when water spills on the litter you want to remove it and replace with dry litter immediately immediately you don't encourage the situation where the chicks have to lay on wet litter for a prolonged uh, period of time because this is going to impact their growth they will be getting cold and cold is not good for them because they're not able to regulate their body temperature within the age of one day to 10 to 14 days so you want to be in charge of that regulation and if you allow them to sit on wet litter that will bring down their body temperature and everything every food they eat will the metabolism will just be generating it instead of 
being used for the body growth so you want to ensure that you don't allow wet litter in the house another thing is cold due to poor eating some people also don't know how to eat up the house they just when they eat up the house they the, the the heat only gets to one side of the house and some parts of the house are not heated up so that is bad that is bad and that is why you have to have your thermometer at a central position and if the house is so big you have to have more than one thermometer so that you have them at strategic points so you can be able to monitor the temperature also if you're using multiple eating devices for example if you're using two to three to four to twenty uh, charcoal pot you have to place them strategically so that the heat is even within the house another thing if you are using your gas brother you have to also place that strategically so you avoid cold due to poor eating another thing now is inadequate feeding yes inadequate feeding affects broiler uniformity for example if you serve the feed that is in that is not enough for the whole flock at a particular time let's say this whole flock they are supposed to eat 10 kg over a period of six hours and you just give them like three kg probably because feed is not available you need to go get feed which you should not allow to happen so it is only the stronger ones that will quickly eat up the food and the weaker ones will have to wait for the next time feed will come so if they are lucky enough that the next time you put sufficient food then the stronger ones will hit and the weaker ones will also eat but then they have missed one if the next time they are also unfortunate you serve again lesser quantity that you are supposed to serve then the stronger ones will hit first maybe they are a little fortunate the stronger ones can't finish everything and the weaker ones get to hit the rest they won't be hitting the same way that's the message so that means the ones who eat more will actually gain more weight than the weaker ones and in the end by week five week six you are getting the difference before your eyes is so big it's so big and this is not from the hatchery this is your own problem so you have to fix it you have to fix it and another thing now is sorting 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 does not only happen in fish farming no it doesn't only happen in fish farming it also happens in broiler farming you have to sort preferably you can sort there are two kinds of sorting you sort based on sex and you also sort based on weight if you are sorting based on sex that is you separate the male from the female because the males are usually eating more they are usually stronger so you want to separate the males from the females so that you you place them in their class kind of so everybody has uh the same competitive power so you separate the males from the female if you can't do that then maybe at week three or week four you separate the bigger ones from the smaller ones so that the smaller ones which usually are the weaker ones can also strive and eat within the same uh this is not age group now this is strength group yes so sorting is also good if you need to do it if you are noticing that the weight difference is a little more than you expect at the third week then you can employ sorting okay so let's go on to the next point the next thing that affects uniformity in broiler is poor orientation of the broiler house poor orientation a lot of people know how to go into the broiler farming business invest a lot of money but they don't know that things like poor orientation of the house can ruin the business the normal orientation of a broiler house should be the east-west orientation because the, the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. So you want the house to be facing the east-west so that if the sun is rising from the east, the, the, the narrow part of the house, that is the long, the house is long like this. This is the width. It's long like this and it's facing the east-west. So if the sun is rising, it's just eating the narrow end of the house and when it gets to about 12 noon it's at the center is on top of the house in the evening it also ends at the narrow end of the house as opposed to the north south orientation in which case the sun that is coming from the east if the house is not south it's like this so as the sun is coming it eats the side of the house which is a very broad or long area of the house so the sun the sun will be able to penetrate into most part of the house leaving the chickens with 
just a little cool area and which is very bad why is this bad and how would this affect broiler uniformity you notice if the sun is entering the house so much then most of the drinkers and even feeders that are lined up most importantly the drinkers they are heated up and the water inside them are also hot the broilers at that end in fact most of the broilers would want to leave that end and struggle to go to the cooler area but the ones closer to the uh heated water the water that has been heated by the sun in the drinkers they won't be encouraged to drink much whereas those that are very close to the cool water they are drinking so some are drinking cool water some they only have hot water close to them and they won't want to drink much so it means some will grow more and some will not grow as they ought so you want to ensure that you maintain the east west orientation this is very 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 important is very important and also disease diseases affect uniformity in broiler flock yes diseases do affect uniformity uh most of the times when diseases strike it it affects a set of beds first it may even start from just one cheek so if it affects a set of bed first before it begins to spread to the entire house so if let's say out of 100 you have 20 beds affected or infected now if you quickly strike into action and you treat them then they may be able to recover and quickly meet up because most disease situation will also affect the feed conversion of your chicken which means they won't grow as they ought to so if bed in the group a are infected the beds in the group b are not infected and the ones that are not infected they are just growing as they hot but the ones that are infected they are not growing as they hot so you need to really attend to the disease situation quickly so that they can quickly join the rest of the flock and continue their growth so you don't want any disease to linger to stay long in the flock before you step in before you go right there to do something about it so also poor ventilation affects uniformity in broiler house yes with poor ventilation you have a problem of co2 it is so much abundant in the broiler flock whereas oxygen which is which is needed is in shortage so and because oxygen is needed in the process of metabolism of feed converting it to meat and all of the processes that take place in the chicken you know this is going to affect their growth so in any case where you have poor ventilation is as good as you preparing yourself for uneven growth some birds will be bigger some will be so so small so you don't want that and so you have to ensure that you have the cross ventilation you know the side of the house they are just open and the wind coming in from this part can blow out through this part and there's just no locking of hot air within the house and that is very important it's very important these minute principles actually make significant differences when you put them into action if you do it you get the good results if you don't do it you face the consequences and what are these consequences what are these consequences you know poor market value of your beds if your beds don't grow in the same way then the market value will be poor market value will be poor because when buyers come and check your farm they see that oh there are some that are good but there are some that are small they'll be capitalizing on the small ones i'm telling you these beds only a few of them are big whereas maybe even 60 percent are big but then they will be capitalizing on the smaller ones and say there are a lot of small ones there we can't just buy it at this rate and you know that is not good so that is poor market value of your birds and also delayed sales for example if you say okay then go let me feed them more so that every one of them will be big that means you are delaying sales and you'll be spending more money in the process it's not all the time that the customer will be willing to pay even a higher price because you have had to raise them for a longer period of time that doesn't always work and finally delayed cropping and stocking you know if you delay the sales that is you will not be able to bring in the new uh, the new stock the new flock in good time so that is delay or trivia if you are supposed to raise about um, six batches of broilers in a year because of that delay you may only be able to do four or even three so that is not something you want to get so you want to ensure that all of those things all of those causes of 
uneven growth in the broiler flock you want to prevent them that is the way to do it right that is the way to get good profits that is the way to be a good broiler farmer thank you very much for watching if you think you got value from this video you want to hit the like button if you are yet to subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button so that you keep getting content like this that will help you become a successful broiler farmer and if you don't want to miss out on the next upload please go ahead and click the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload thank you goodbye wow very beautiful okay these are the females the females ah yeah yeah hey, no, sorry sorry it's it's vice versa here the little ones yeah. they are 13 with a, a green neck yeah these are the males yeah. 13 and the others are the females ah yeah okay electric tapes yeah just they cannot be bigger you see yeah yeah